Hello everyone! This is Alice the Dragon, and uh, I have actually switched my Delver over to my nice, uh, my nice computer. So, uh, so we're kind of starting at the beginning again here. But, uh, last, uh, last episode we died. And, uh, not only that, but I've kind of had a, uh, oop, jumped right over me. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, no hits so far. That's nice. Um, the secret is around here. Um, yeah, it's been kind of a, an eventful week for me because, uh, I went on, uh, vacation to go see my family, uh, and when I got back, it was a 12-hour drive, and uh, I uh, got a call from my mom that morning, and uh, my grandfather Mark had passed, and uh, so I'm kind of in that that mourning phase. So, you know. No better time, in my opinion, to talk a bit about death. Because, you know, that's kind of one of the oldest questions, is what happens after you die? Like, do we fade into nothingness? Do we go to a good place, a bad place? Uh, you know, what happens? And, yeah, again, the foundation of my understanding is all about the... Ah, dang it. It's, yeah, you know, it's the existentialist perspective where it's just like... Yeah, you know, I know what I am experiencing in this moment. I know that I'm a bad throw. <laughs> Uh, oh, that reminds me, speaking of, of uh, dying last time, let's change what, uh, let's see, there, there, was, uh, there was a drop, wasn't there, or did I already fix that? Okay, we're, we're, we're good now, we're good now. Um, so, I don't know what is going to happen to me when I die. I don't know what's going to happen to you when I die. I don't know... Um, yeah, I don't know uh, what happened to Grandpa when he died. And, uh... Yeah, I kind of want to keep a skull in my inventory now. That is not very effective at all, is it? You know, it's kind of, you know, people have a, an, an attachment to bones, and they're just like, you gotta respect the dead. Um, and whose sake is that for? We don't know if it helps the person who's dead at all. Mainly, it seems... Mainly, it seems, my buttons aren't working. Less I... Yep, yep. And... Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, like, heavy stuff, right? Heavy stuff. <laughs> heavy stuff, death. Like, what do you, uh... Ooh, I, I, I remember to put on my buckler. Like, it's... It's something that we is instinctively avoid because what is the you know you can't talk about death without talking about life and um, as far as we know you know life uh, you know people have been doing experiments with uh, water and chemicals. And, uh, as far as I know, at least last I heard, um, you know, they haven't made the, uh, 
I haven't gotten the, uh... Why am I still not wearing my leather armor? Like, you know, I'm, I'm so all sorts of discombobulated right now. I'm, I'm sure you can tell. Uh, oh, that... Okay, so my dad says, you know, he's played a lot more of this than I have, but he says to hang on to those fire wands and ignore bombs. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works. I think I'm, I'm just, I'm going to have to run through. Like, I, I forget this area every time I go through it. You, I want there. Because you are my throwing skull. Isn't there something back here? Ah, gold. I like gold. Uh, and then we'll go back up here. Yeah, the key to these things is they move when you move. So you gotta move and then move. And then you're you're fine. Oh hello! Haha! -ha. Okay, so press the button. Oh, yep. This Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna die regardless. Cause they just keep coming. Oh! I'm leveling up anyway. Uh... Just stabby, stabby, stabby. Ha! <laughs> I could have gotten the red wand out of there, but I... Like... It's only the beginning. How appropriate to start a discussion about death, to go through it yourself. Because, as far as we know, our, our experience starts with that kind of, ooh, you know, it's, it's the womb to tomb type of, uh, type of deal. You know, you start and then you end up wherever you're at. And what's in your past I don't know if you've noticed this, but what's in your past kind of gets a little fuzzier year by year until y you you can barely like you can definitely rec remember details, right? But from an existentialist point of view, we know memories can be faulty because you know, you know, especially someone like me, I forget stuff all the time. Yeah, I've just kind of made peace with that at this point. And yeah, nor nor am I an expert in anything. I just enjoy uh, being curious. The inscription is too worn to make out. You know, it's, it, you know, it's, it's like, a, you know, that's that memory there. You know, every time you access a memory, it changes a little bit. People have done experiments on this. And uh, it's, you know, I've, I've talked before about um, an endless game of uh, telephone. Oh, you pet the puppy. Always got to pet the puppy. Uh, yeah, you've got your, your game, game of telephone from one person to another, but you could almost think of memory as a game of telephone with yourself. One neuron to another. I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but uh, that I, I I think a theory like that is a good one to go off of, given what I know at least. There's a skull down here. I actually do want that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to move that potion off of my hot bar. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, my dad gave me a present. Hold on, I need to go get it. Pause the game. Okay, so this is actually pretty neat. Uh, my dad gave me a uh, kind of a little metal sheet that has the colors of potions on, and uh, little magnets with the effects that you can get from these potions. So uh, helps with process of elimination when uh, testing potions. So that was mag magic shield. So we now know blue is magic shield. Put that right there. 
All right, so I'll just leave that uh, for another time. Now I, in the future, can uh, figure out what is uh, what's what. Okay, let's do it. Ah, this is a nice entryway. So, I, I suppose first we should talk about the possibilities um, of what happens. Uh, let's see, purple potion is restore health. Put that on my little tracker here. Restore health. Uh, that was the purple one. There we go. See? Yeah, this is working already. It's earning its keep. Considering it's free, that works uh, That works out very nicely. Uh, so, okay. I guess we could split this up into two categories. Yeah, there is the death where you continue to exist in some form. Uh, one, what what you'd say is the soul. Ouch. Stabby, stabby. And there's a guy down here. Can I please? Yeah, there we go. Isn't there another guy? Yeah. <laughs> they can't. They are not smart enough to get up here. What do I want? Agility? Health? I do love me some bows. Let's get some agility going here, actually. There. Oh! Speaking of bows. Yes. Uh, short bow. Okay. Uh, that... Oh, hello. I do not have any arrows, unfortunately. Actually, I will keep it that way. Alright. I need some arrows. I'm surprised he didn't start shooting at me way back there, but I still got a face full of magic. Uh, so yeah, the two d different types of... Uh, is there a button around here? He said to check for buttons. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's not... Only when there's uh, a room that does not have an obvious entrance. Ha 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 ha. So yeah, either we continue to exist as some sort of soul or spirit, or we stop existing. That's pretty much the two options. And um, yeah, I don't want to argue about any of the things that you know, are the continue to exist option, because let's face it, we have no way of knowing that. And even even if we even if we did, you know, achieve that, it wouldn't really add much to uh. the conversation. You know, there we could definitely oops, there you are. I heard ya. Uh, you know, we can definitely talk about um you know, what our favorite options are. Like, ooh, personally, I really like the reincarnation route. I am really, 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 really hoping that, uh, that once I have passed through this lifetime, uh, that I will be a dragon. Because, <laughs> you know, that's, you know, being another kin, like, it's, like, if there was the soul of a dragon, it kind of got, uh, it lost its way and found its way into a human. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, I'm not saying that is exactly what I believe, but it is, ooh, that's good to know that that is a poison trap. Yeah, didn't take much at all. Okay, this is a dangerous area, but luckily I get XP for stuff that dies in traps too, so do I want attack, defense? Um, defense. Sounds good to me. Yeah, uh, if, uh, if I die and I get reborn as a dragon, I will be so happy. Uh, 
I'm going to, uh... Can I just... Actually, no, that's, that's easy enough to avoid that I'm not gonna bother, but I will get the candle for my offhand, because it is nice to have light. It is very nice to have light. There's an area there, there's... There's an area way back there that I haven't explored, you know, for... For time's sake, maybe I should go back there now. And, uh... Yeah, that, uh... Sounds like a good idea, actually. So, let's go this way and, uh... And think of, uh... You know, what else? Like, if there is... If there is nothing at the end of the journey... Then, you know, if some, somebody uh, might say, well, what's the point of it then? If, uh, you know, if, if you, you know, go through all this and then in the end there's just nothing, then, you know, why be alive in the first place? And, yeah, you know, I've, like, this is all just kind of... Um, how, how do I put this? This is all kind of uh, come together over this week, really, um, <laughs> which is which is an interesting. A lot, uh, you know, a lot of my thoughts while I was uh, cannot leave with. Oh yeah, this is the beginning. Um, I just need something. I want something to throw because I only have the dagger and I don't want to break it before I get another weapon. So. So that should probably be a thing. All right. I heard something. Ooh, hello. Ouch. <coughs> yeah. Ooh, book. I like books. Enchant armor. I am like maybe I should just collect books as my throwable items. Also. I really need to eat something. There we go. And, uh... So, let's kind of backtrack just a little to an earlier discussion that we had um, about time worms. And, you know, see, see my, dagger's, my dagger's broken now, so... I'm gonna throw this book. Like, not that it really matters at this point. Like, I will get something else eventually. I just, uh... have a broken dagger now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I wish... I wish that uh, I didn't have an ice wand. I wish that it was, like, a magic missile wand, because then I could actually... You know, do some sort of damage on these guys instead of just chipping away at them. So, yeah, time worms. So, the idea of a time worm is that on one end, there is you as a, uh, as a fetus. And then on the other end, there's you as uh, as an old person and uh, yeah they're moving through time the way that uh, you and I might move through space and oh thank goodness there's a lantern I want this lantern in my hand yes please and you can have the candle it, it won't burn anything there <laughs> uh, what's in here yeah, you know, these zombies, for example, might, uh, yep, come on. Yeah, you know, on, on one, one end they have a human fetus, and on this end, um, they've kind of become corrupted by whatever forces and turn green, so be a time worm that's green on one end. Yay! So... You know, uh, we, we've, we've kind of got, you know, a bit of an idea there. 
All right, skull cap I don't want. I'm going to turn away from the wall so I don't accidentally kill myself by throwing it. Um, 3 AC, 1 AC plus speed. Like, I have a scroll of enchant armor, which I believe only applies to stuff that's in in the inventory. I don't think it's going to matter that much. I'm sure my dad is yelling at me right now. Because I actually convinced him to start watching my Delver series because, you know, it's it's my talk about shit series. So <laughs> and it was, it was hilarious watching him uh, kind of yell at me on the TV. It's like, oh no, you missed that secret spot. Oh no. Uh, which... Ooh, that is very nice. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Alright, zombies! Get those zombies and don't hit the potion. And, well, you could say, well, the, the point is that it exists. It exists in time, the time worm. Yeah, there is a uh, person that is contained within that uh, within that time space, which yeah seems like a very um, it's it's a yeah. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna save that. This is going to continue to be my busting up pots weapon. Normally, I would. Uh, put my second uh, second strongest weapon in in that slot but I think um, unless I start to ro run low on inventory space so I'll just kind of keep going like that um, what uh, you know what you know what's been coming together lately for me in uh, in terms of you know how to deal with grieving like it, it's almost like I was getting ready for it this past week which where are you I hear you bat driving me nuts Ooh. it's like over my head I think you know I'm gonna go this way there you are that could have been really bad, because I was pretty low on health there, but, uh... Ooh, agility or defense. Agility. I want agility. I want as much agility as I could possibly have. That's got a nice attack speed on it, actually. You know what? Forget what I said about the dagger. I'm going to go ahead and put that one there. Um, yeah, the there are actually many works of fiction that uh, that I've been looking at lately. Like I, I actually, yeah, wow, because. Don't really need a bomb unless it's a special circumstance, and I might as well save that uh, inventory space. Somebody else is bound to be yelling at me now. I'm sure. I'm sure. Because that's what you do to YouTubers. You say, "Why are you? Why are you playing this way?" Whoops. Like, why are you playing like a fool? Because I am thinking about heavy stuff. Let's see, arrow bombs I'll get. All right, that's pretty good. Uh. All right, so that kind of goes back that way. Uh, let's let's go this way. Like, I think we're making good. Uh, good progress here. 
Okay, so this comes back to here, and I startle myself by nearly running into the trap, so good go me. Emerald! Getting lots of ka -ching here. Uh, so, uh, one, uh, you know, one, one show that I actually got my dad to, uh, to watch, uh, it's called The Midnight Gospel. And when you watch this Be Ready for Anything, or, or, uh, watch ahead to see what the, uh, uh, blue was magic shield, wasn't it? Or wait, did I, uh, let's see what the red is. Red is iron skin. Red is iron skin, so I am going to... I don't... Wasn't the blue magic shield? Why does it not say magic shield? Wait a minute. That is magic shield. Okay. Well, just confirmed that I did not forget my uh, uh, thing. The question marks, I need to um, hold on to armor with the question marks until I have a scroll of identify. That's, that's a key thing right there. So... Do I want to? Mm. Doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I'll get enough arrows eventually, and until then, I'll just kind of keep doing what I do. I want to go back this way. Uh, Midnight Gospel. The second episode of. Well, first of all, I should probably say you know, what it's act what it actually is before I get into uh, a individual episode. But uh, it's more like a podcast that somebody animated. It's, it's a conversation between you know, the main character who uh, is a space streamer. Ouch. Okay, get, get the actual... Uh, I am off my game here. That works. Well, uh... You know, the, the Midnight Gospel is a conversation. And, uh, you know, there, there's this guy who visits different worlds and interviews him for his space cast. Uh, and the second episode, uh, he's with this uh, kind of wild animal uh, that is uh, captured and processed into uh, and into food. And you know the you know the characters he interviews, yeah, they actually uh, yeah they talk like they're. Uh, interviewers, so yeah, you know, interviewees. I mean, like, I'm not quite sure how the production is on on this show, but uh, I tell them keep it up. <laughs> like, if anybody from that production team is watching, I'm like, hey, this is good stuff. Uh, yeah, they're 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 talking about uh, death, and yeah, this woman is like, you know, I've. Yeah, I've had so many people in my life, uh, you know, who have uh, passed away. I, uh, yeah, and all these people who have uh, come to me for, you know, advice on grieving. Uh, okay, nothing in the water, so we're good here. Uh, where am I going next? Up there, up north, and. Uh, And, and uh, it, it, it's just, you know, the whole, whole conversation's just really interesting in uh, just the, well, you know, how, you know, it's, it's the whole death conversation, you know, how do I want to be remembered? How do, uh, oh, hello. 
How do, uh... How do I avoid death? And still do the... There we go. Alright, so... Green potion. I'm gonna try a green potion. Uh... Oh! That one's... That one's healing. Uh... Does that mean the purple was restoration? Uh, I hope that's... I hope I'm doing this right. Sorry, Dad. I'm doing my best. But now we don't know what bright, dark, or gold are. So we know that. Uh, and they're all... One of them's col cola, the other is poison paralyze. <laughs> is it worth it uh, to know where cola is? Debatable. <laughs> like, is it gonna be soda or is it going to be poison? That you know, that's a good uh, that's a good death question right there. Is it yeah? You know, is it worth it if uh, you know there's a one in three chance you're gonna get poisoned? Uh, yeah. Uh, though if you have some real uh, cola then, uh, it, it, that's a healing thing, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of all debatable, isn't it? Yeah, uh, my, my conclusion, I guess, for the whole, yeah, what happens after death debate, you know, the only thing that I really have evidence for at this point, or it, or at least... Come on. There you go. Uh, is time worms are conceptually a thing. And anything having existed exists. Is that really it? There's some, there's some more up this way. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta explore everything. Because you never know what, what you end up leaving behind. And, uh, yeah, the, the time worm is always going to be in that it is a part of, uh, of history. And I actually, uh, have lately been thinking about time worms like crystals. Now, bear with me here. Uh, when you are growing a crystal, you essentially, uh, have a solution and yeah and usually you, you have some sort of seed stone for uh, for it to uh, grow off of because that's how crystals work I am trying to get into my inventory and I'm just completely forgetting what I'm doing magic plus one sure throw that away at great speed save the hammer but bring out that lightning mace because that's kind of cool. Although it will become my uh, uh, burn smasher, but uh, that's all right. Although you're you're probably arguing not, but eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, what uh. An one way I put it a long time ago was think of your life as like a book. You have a beginning. Uh, that's the short bow I just threw over here. You have a beginning, you have life, and you have um, the end, which is death. You know, and uh, that happens to everyone you know, so far. Go. Ooh, hello. All right. Woo. There we go. That worked. So, yeah, for a long, yeah, a long time, uh, just thinking of. Uh, 
of life as just it's a thing that exists and when you get to the end it's still there you just put it back on the shelf and maybe somebody else is going to come along and read it and uh, that kind of plays into uh, my love of one over zero as well because you know they discuss how yeah as as comic characters every person who reads them I was really hoping that was a secret door. Secret tunnel! And that is, that is also not a secret. Okay, uh... Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, that, that's a comforting way, really, to think of it. And... So, you know... Let's, let's talk about, like... Yeah, the purpose of life. Yeah, conceptually speaking, life began. Do I really need all these books? I'll, I'll carry two. I'll carry two books. I'll t carry those two green books because those are uh, pretty nifty. See, the blue potion is still unidentified for some reason. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, I've had two of them. Two of them now, and I still don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, if we uh, if we think of the purpose of life, yeah, as starting when the primordial soup, uh, which is what I was trying to talk about earlier, it's like scientists. Uh, I don't know if they've actually gotten life forms out of artificial primordial soup, but yeah, it's close enough that... You're dead. Oh, you're down there, aren't you? Oh, you're down there. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, you come here. There you go. Face full of blade. When uh, when you think about it, yeah, you know, the stuff that stuck around longest is the stuff that we have today. Really, like we are the great, 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 popped into being in the middle of the ocean. Or maybe not even the first cell. It, it could have uh, easily been, like, the 15th cell. <laughs> you know, or, or really just that chain of DNA. Like, we persist because of a chemical reaction. And that's what we as living beings are, is a chemical reaction that's been going on for millions and billions of years. At least I think, I think billions. I know, uh, it's gotta be at least a billion years. It's like a couple billion years, right? Anyway, uh, I don't know the whole history of life on this planet. I only know my own experience. And, uh, that's, uh, that's the cut and drive of it, really. And I'm here at the end. There's nowhere else to explore, and I guess there's nothing more I can talk about the topic until next time. So I will see you later. I love you all. I hope your time worms are as long as possible because that is the goal, pretty much. But uh, but also, you know, don't, you don't have to focus on length. You can also focus on richness. And I guess we can talk about richness in, uh, in the next episode. Like, what, what makes for an enriching life? So, I love you all. I will see you next time. Bye!